Hey everyone, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build an affiliate store in 15 minutes with WPL Import. I've done a little bit of prep work. I installed WordPress, and then I installed a theme called Jewelry Shop. That's available from Theme Forest. And I also had a graphic designer create the three images you see on the homepage. Now first thing we need to do is get our feed from Commission Junction. And as an aside, you're going to notice there's a balance in this account. Now, I do not do any affiliate marketing, so these commissions have been generated strictly from the WPL import demo sites, which I did absolutely no search engine optimization on and no promotion. To get your product feeds from Commission Junction, click the Account tab, then click Services, and then click Create Product Export, and choose XML from the dropdown, or CSV. I'm not going to do this now because I already have my feeds downloaded, so I'm just going to go right to the WordPress admin dashboard and start an import with WPL import. First thing we do is click the new import link. From this screen we can upload an XML file or CSV file. And now we continue to the next step. WPL import detects all the products in the feed, it says there are 1,026, that's great, we continue to the next step. And now we get to design our post title and post content. So we can drag and drop elements in the XML file into our post title and post content boxes. I'm going to set the post content to the description, the product price, and I'm going to create a buy now link and that's going to have the affiliate URL for the product in it. I'm just typing in the straight HTML because I know how. You can also use the WordPress what you see is what you get editor toolbar to create a link. And I'm going to save this as a template because I'm going to do four more imports that are just like this with Commission Junction feeds so I don't want to have to do this each time. In step four, we can set our post options. I'm going to put all the posts in a category called Jelly Belly Products. Then I'm going to set WPL Import to automatically create tags based on the keywords in our feed. And then I'm going to create a custom field called Price and put the product price in it. The jewelry shop theme I'm using displays product prices, so you put the dollar value for the price in the price custom field, and that's where the jewelry shop theme gets that information to display it. Now I'm going to set WPL import to download images in the feed and set them as the post thumbnail. And I'm also going to check the set as draft if no images are downloaded successfully box. That way in case some of the images are broken, the URL in the feed is wrong, I won't end up with posts on my site with broken images. Click Finish, and WPL Import will begin importing the posts. Now for a feed like this, this process will probably take about four to five minutes, so I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to resume it once the import is complete. Okay, the import is now complete, so let's go over to the site and take a look and see the created posts. Here we go, there are a bunch of them. Click on one, and we get taken to the individual product page. You can see the description price and buy now link as we created. You'll see the images are all imported. You go to another one. The jewelry shop theme shows related products, which is a nice feature. If we click a buy now link, that'll take us uh, through the affiliate URL over to the Jelly Belly website. And there you have it. That's what WPL import can do very quickly and easily. So now I'm going to go ahead and import the, my four remaining feeds because I don't just want Jelly Belly products on the site. So here we're going to import the Sephra chocolate fountains in fondue feed. Continue to the next step. And just like last time, WPL import is going to automatically detect the products in the feed. Detected, we continue to the next step. And now we don't want to manually design our template again, so we're just going to load that uh, post content and post title template from our saved template from last time. Done. So now we continue to the next step. And when you save a template, all the options you use in step four are also saved with it. So if we check the load options box in the top right, 
We don't have to manually put in our category or tags or anything. It's all done for us. And we are going to change the category to Sephra products instead of Jelly Belly products. That's done. So we click Finish. And WPL Import imports the posts again. Now, I'm not going to show me importing this feed or the remaining three feeds. I'm just going to skip ahead in the recording, and you'll see the completed site soon. OK, I've now imported all the feeds. You can see that on the Manage Import screen. I've imported about 2,000 products total. So let's go over to the main site and check it out. OK, here is the completed affiliate store. This is what WPL Import can create. We imported all five products feeds from Commission Junction. And uh, here we have them all. It's nice when we're using a great theme like Jewelry Shop that can just make everything so easy, lays everything out so nice. There you have it. That is how WPL Import can build an affiliate store in less than 15 minutes. Thanks for watching.